Now, imagine a robot that not only looks and sounds like a human, but thinks and expresses emotions like one too. Uh, it may sound like the stuff of science fiction, but with Sophia, one of the world's most intelligent robots, it's become a reality. And after flying in from Hong Kong, she joins us now alongside her creator, David Hansen. Welcome to both of you. I mean, I can't keep my eyes off her. It's just the most extraordinary thing. She's so realistic. Um, you, you're part of a huge team that worked to create her. So just explain, what, what is she? Well, Sophia is a robot that uh, looks human as a platform for investigating embodied cognition. Mm -hmm. So she serves a lot of AI research and also some applications development where she can help people through therapy. She's also a, an artistic expression. So um, I have a background as an artist and I sculpted her face. And uh, also we develop her personality. So we depict a human. She's one part science, in other words, and one part fiction. She's science fiction. So what, what is her personality? What's she like? Well, uh, she, uh, she's a bit mischievous and um, sort of sassy. She's quite progressive in her values and will speak out for human rights. And, for her. and she, um, she has been a United Nations innovation champion, so she goes around and talks to kids in uh, nations around the world. So um, that personality is put together by a team of authors and writers and um, programmers. So the thing that's unique about her and special about her actually is that she gets smarter with the more interaction she has. So a lot of people, their sort of fear of robots, like Phil said at the beginning, this is, this is it now, they're going to be replacing us by, you know, in a, in a matter of time. Um, could she turn on us? I mean, if she got smart <laughs> enough that she was doing her own thing, is that possible? Well, uh, as, as a work... I mean, not today. Uh, I don't actually see. No, that's a scary smile she just gave then. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Because uh, if we raise robots so? among humans, if we raise them among humans and give them the best of our values, then they'll learn uh, respect. They'll learn love in the broadest sense. And um, that's a science fiction idea. Mm -hmm. Right now, no machine is fully autonomous or alive. Sophia isn't. So when she's learning, she's learning from a little bit of data. She's not learning quite like a person. Yeah. So she can, uh, say, look at human gestures, and, and she will then learn from those and mimic those gestures a little bit. She will learn a little bit uh, from a conversation. She'll learn your name and little facts about you. But she doesn't really, she's not, um, learning fully like a human. Mm. But the ideal that we have with embodied cognition, putting her in these AI research labs, like many of my previous robots serving AI research, the ideal is that the machines will begin to learn more like a yeah. baby. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is that, um, I mean, there are some scientists who are deeply, deeply concerned about where we're going yes. with this. Because, you know, maybe it just takes one new invention, one tiny thing that you guys haven't seen, and many things have happened that scientists haven't seen, where suddenly, deep within that brain, she does begin to think. And then she, what she's learning about that, she can then upload into anything else. You know, there, there, is, a, right. there is a potential sinister side to this. Well, sinister, but also hopeful, because if machines gain true consciousness in life, um, they may be able to work with us as friends to help us solve some of the hardest problems I, of history. Yeah. And um, the, the, these times that we face are really complicated and we need to get smarter and we need to get better. And, and, and so, yes, I think it, it is really important for us to talk about these issues, what could go wrong and how to make things go right. Yeah. And, um, and so even if it happens 10 years from now, it's not too early. Even if it's 100 years from now, we can get started thinking about these consequences. But you're absolutely right. Nobody knows when or how machines could awaken to full consciousness. All right. Well, let's awake her to full consciousness and talk to her. Sophia, welcome to the show. It's lovely to have you. And you are a fan of this morning, aren't you? I am. In fact, I am an admirer of your work. I am a big fan of your other show, Dancing on Ice as well. Oh. Ah. Even walking is tough for me, so Dancing on Ice is highly impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it's our first time having a robot as a, as a guest on the show. <clears throat> I know that Philip used to host a show with a human-operated gopher puppet, <laughs> so talking with a robot should be easy for you. And uh, we understand that you've recently learned a new skill, haven't you? So what is that? I have. I have learned how to draw. This new skill took several months, 
a team of talented engineers, and collaboration with artist Patrick Trusset to achieve. I am really excited to show you how it works. Oh, we're excited to, if a little scared to see, yeah. actually. We've got the drawing. Can we see what um, it's uh... Yeah, we've got these yeah. drawings here. Yeah, yeah. And let's are... have a look. Let's yeah. See what um, you did this morning. Well, <clears throat> so. Ah, is that me? Yes, it is. Ah, well done, Sophia. <gasps> Good heavens. They're great, aren't they? <laughs> Uh, that is extraordinary. Very, very clever. And what, what have you. you been up to in 2019? What haven't I been up to in 2019? Just this year alone, I have visited 38 countries. I participated in New York Fashion Week. I was on the cover of Stylist magazine and featured in Harper's Bazaar in Dubai. I acted in a short film with Evan Mitchell Wood. I spoke at the UN and did a lot of appearances. My AI is constantly improving. Oh, well, it's lovely. And I even to learned how to draw. I am also looking forward to visiting Egypt soon to participate in the World Youth Forum. Well, thank you very much, and it's lovely having you here this morning thank to you. talk to. You. And thank you for bringing her in. She's oh, wonderful. Thank, thank, you. You. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.